Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video finally we're gonna talk about graphic user interface or UI or GUI, whatever you want to call it. So without any further ado, let's begin. So let's say we have this project, right? And we want to have a GUI in it. So I ask a GUI designer or graphic designer to design a GUI. So you can see we have this GUI in Adobe Illustrator that has EPS file extension to it and we have all of this cool stuff okay first thing first thing to do we need to extract all of them separately so we can draw it in our game maker right so let's just collapse everything maybe the software that you have is different from me and if you want to help with Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, just leave it in comment. I will explain to you how you can export all of these so you can use it in Game Maker. If you want to have this, you can just go to my itch.io or search UI bundle uh, number two. I have two of them in my itch account and uh, you can see it's, it's off by 70%. And if you want to buy all of my product for just $10, it's like 26 product that then you can use in whatever game you have. I have a lot of things in there like um, a sprite sheet for Hotline Miami, some GUI bundle, some uh, characters and something like that. 26 of them just for $10, okay? So if you want to have this, you can download it from itch.io. But of course you have your own GUI elements, right? So if you have yours, just use it. I will show you how you can use it but if you don't you can use the one that i told you okay so first thing i want to create a menu okay so for that i have some buttons in here let's uh, for example this button in here and um, some stars and all of those that i did show you in here i uh, extracted from other illustrator it's easy and if you want to know how i do it uh, please leave it in comment i create a video about it how you can export from adobe illustrator to game maker right so we have all of this button and we have a font that i want to use in or gui and i will show you all of them how you can use them okay so for creating that menu that i did talk about i want to create a room for it so right click on room create and create a room i want to call it rm for room and menu okay uh, the, this room that i want to create is for when they click on new game options or exit right so we have this room and I want to change the um, priority of this room menu to be at top. So when we run this game, this RM menu should be run at default. So with this, we put it at top. So now when we run our game, this blank uh, black screen will show up. Okay, like that. First thing to do, I want to just put a background on our menu. So first thing to do, let's just add all of our sprites to sprites in here. But before that, I want to create a group. I want to call it GUI for graphic user interface and import all of those sprites. So let's just do it fast. So as you can see, I, I import background, some button, and I want to set this background for background of our menu. Okay, so just go to your room and in background layer, select in here, click on here and hit the sprite and find the background. So you can see it, it is here now. And for that, I want to stretch it to be full screen and now we have the background, right? As you can see, we, we have this sprite. Let me show you this sprite and this sprite that connects these two buttons together. And you can see it in here. It will connect this button to this button. It's just for showing, right? So we have these two buttons imported. I will show you all of this stuff, how you can implement it in your game. But the easiest way, I want to show you the easiest way first. So it is the menu. So, and with these two, we can have that. Okay, so I did import it. The important things in here is using the anchor point. How you can use it to help you create your GUI. So in here, you can see that this ropes behind our button is, let me select it from here. If you select it from here, you can see that it's uh, starting from the center of this button behind it, but at the center. So what we can do for that, we can just put the anchor point at middle center and put the anchor point of our rope at top center so the zero zero of this sprite is in here and zero and zero of this sprite will be here and if we want to draw it it will snap to the place that we want okay like this in here now that we have the sprites and the anchor point is at the right location let's just create an object in controls right click create object and let's just call it button 
okay so we want to give it an sprite let's just choose the sprite of our button we have it now and if we go to our room we don't need this room so we can put it in our instance layer in here okay so we have one button first thing that i want to show you is how you can get the click event okay so in your object button in here add an event of most left press okay and in here just show debug messages we will change this in in a few minutes okay so i want to say click it's in our room so let's just run it. and you can see whenever we click on it in here it says clicked okay whenever we click on it it says click if the if you click anywhere in the room it won't work unless you click on the button and you can see it work so about those rope what we should do about them for drawing those rope i want to add a draw event okay we don't want to create another object for adjust the rope right so in here i want to say draw a sprite the sprite that we want to use is this sprite connection i did call it connection because it has two rows okay so the sub image is zero and for the x and y i want to use x and y of our button okay so now let's just see if our rope is showing of course because we didn't say draw draw self it will make our button disappear so we say draw self okay so now let's just run it again and you can see that the rope is drawn but it's in front of our button so what we can do about that we can just cut this line and put it above our draw self so it first draw the sprite uh, of our ropes and after that it draw itself okay so let's just run it again and you can see no it's working fine so how we can in here we can just say uh, draw a text at this um, above our button right so let's just do that after that we add some other button right so for doing that we can just say draw text okay and we want to use x and y of our button because it's middle center and we want to give it a string so let's say new game and if we run it it won't align as we want so we should uh, make it align and you can see it in here it's small so what we can do about that so first thing first we should draw that we align to f of center so we make our uh, text to be at the center okay let's just copy and paste it for horizontal align as well just change this v to edge and it will be horizontal align and i just want to change the color so draw set color and i want to use c ek gray okay so let's just see it again and you can see our new game is in here but it's little at the down at the bottom we want to shift it up a little bit so but how we can do it let's just minus this y by four pixel okay so now let's just run it to see if it's in middle or not and i think it's enough and another thing that i want to do is using font so font is easy to add to game maker just right click on font in here create a font i want to call it fn my or whatever you want to name it okay the font that i want to use is this in let me find yeah this is in mold demo you can download it for free on the internet okay so everything is okay i want to change the size of our font to 20 so we can see it clearly save it and now in here we can just say draw set font and i want to use fni and now again let's just run it to see if we can see it clearly or not so now everything is okay for our new game so now i want to show you how you can add another button in here by just this button not changing uh button over and over again just with this button how we can do it first thing that i want to do in here i want to use variable in here okay so if you click on variable definition you can create variable that you can change in room wherever you want okay so the first variable that i want to add is the text that we want to show okay so change the top first click on add and change the type to the string and why not call it text okay so default value zero okay it's good for us and know that we have this text we can change this new game to the text and it is just a variable that we define from here okay so now again if we run it it shouldn't show anything but zero okay so if we go to our room and double click on this button that we have in here let's just zoom a little bit uh, click on this variable and click on this to overwrite and in here i want to say new game so now let's just run it again to see what will happen and you can see we have the new game and if we just copy and paste this let's just close this and if we add this in here okay double click on it click on variable change this to say something like option and again let's just run it and you can see that we have simply the new game button and option button okay so let's just shift the top a little bit i think in here it's good 
and you can see how easy we can have this uh, GUI in our game. If we click on new game, it, it's a click and we, if we click on option, it will click and I will show you how you can separate them from each other, okay? So now let's just add another button for our exit. So double click on it, go to variable, override it and change it to the exit, okay? So let's just run it again. So everything is okay but we don't want this rope at the end okay so we want just three button and we don't want this rope to continue drawing at the uh, last button so how we can do it properly so again let's just use the variables in here for our obg button so let's just add another one of type of boolean and it, the name of it i want to say should i draw a <laughs> rope or whatever you want to call it it's just ridiculous right whatever you want to call it it's okay so at the default we want it to, to be drawn and let's just use this variable in our draw function in top in up here that we draw our connection or ropes and in here you say if should this ridiculous name that i uh, name in here if we sh should draw the rope we can say draw it okay so know that we have this variable in here go to room again and in here double click on the last button go to variables and in here overwrite this should i draw the rope and say not don't draw it okay so let's just play it again and you can see everything is okay we have we don't have the last ropes in here okay so what we should do next let's just close this go to work workspace and in here uh in whatever button we click it says click in bottom in here because we said show debug messages right so we want to make a difference so how we can do it in let's say in this left press instead of this clicked let's just give uh, add a space at the end of this click write plus and show the text the text that we set in variables okay so let's just run it again if we click new game it says click new game if we hit option it says click option if we uh, click exit it says click exit okay so no everything is okay but when they click on new game we want to start a new game and when they click exit we want to exit our game right so let's just delete this i want to use switch case for this right click in here go to code snippet and in switch case it will create a switch case for you and we want to check the text and for the first text we want to use new game if they click on new game this should happen we don't need this default so there are there is three button so let's just control c to copy and paste this three times and first one is new game second one is option and the third one is exit okay so if they click on new game what what should happen it should go to a room that we want so we can say go room go to go to next so with this function it will go to the next room so if you click in here you can see we are at this room and if we say room go to the next it will go to room one there is other method to run whatever room you want but this video is not about that let's just close this and with when they click on new game it will go to the next room and when when they click on exit we want to gain end okay just with that so let's just run it again to see if it works or not click on new game and it will go to our game and you can see we have that we have that mask that we create from last video well, if you don't know about my videos about how you can create a platformer game from scratch to be more readable and easy to develop just watch all of those i did create a lot of things that i think it helps you a lot in your game so let's just close this and again run it to see if, it, if exit is working fine or not if you click on exit it will exit the game so now we have this simple menu that we can add whatever we want in it so we have this button we can add it in here and we can double click on it change the options in here let's say this one i want to say credit okay and do i want to uh, show the rope no i don't want but for the uh, the button above this button i want to show the rope no okay so we check that again if we run it no we have four button and all of them will work and you can see how easy you can do that in the future i will show you a lot of way to create your gui with just one object to draw all everything so it will be compatible with any size and any screen okay so thank you very much to be here at the end of this video please if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot thank you very much for watching bye